Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back. Now I know it said that we were on Trapped but clearly this is the hotspot map. Now we're in the Kansas and we are going to have a ridiculous game in the Kansas. So hopefully you guys are ready. It's going to be another juicy one. Y'all know that the Kansas in my opinion is the best tier 7 battleship currently. Uh, just because of its accuracy and its broadside potential. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and showcase a little bit more of that in this video. So right off the bat, I like to pay attention to what's going on on the map. We have a carrier, a, a cruiser, and a battleship on the right. We have two battleships and a cruiser on the left. So I have already made up my mind that I'm going to support the right side. Uh, if we had less battleships on the left, I would have went left here. But because of the fact we only have a cruiser and a battleship on the right with a carrier, I need to try to help that side. Now, both of the teammates that spawned with me also decided to go right here. So basically, what we are banking on is we need to push as hard as possible to get into a position of, uh, you know, pushing the enemy back. Um, our teammates on the left side are going to hopefully be isolated with the three people that spawned on their side and we will be able to, or they should be able to hold that side. There's no destroyers in this match, it's just a carrier match with a couple of cruisers and a bunch of battle battleships. So neither side should be able to get absolutely annihilated, uh, so we should should be a kind of a stalemate sort of situation. Now, if you look ahead of us to the right, you'll notice that we have a division of two Bismarcks and a Massachusetts that are going to try to push into Bravo. They are going to make the uh, unfortunate... Oh, hello. Hello, Otago. Uh, looks like he's kind of heading away a little bit, but we're going to send it anyway, just in case. You know, you miss all the shots that you don't take. He's right on the edge of our shooting range, and uh, that looks absolutely beautiful. Wait for it! Oh, God, it's only one. It's so close. So close. But uh, anyway, the division of those two or those three battleships together, they're actually going to make a classic mistake. Uh, we're going to try to take advantage of it, but they're going to get overly aggressive. They're going to push into it and they're going to have our entire team shooting at them. Remember, we only have three people on the other side. That means six people are here focusing these three battleships, potentially. Now, I take a shot at this Kansas. He starts to turn out a little bit, and that keeps most of my shells from hitting him, which is unfortunate. But uh, as you can see, we're starting to take grounds from the guys on the right, so it is time to start focusing these guys down. Now, first thing I look for in a division fight like this is who is giving me the best angle, and currently that is the Massachusetts. So we're going to look to potentially shoot his superstructure here, or we're going to look at one of the other Bismarcks. But uh, he has opened up a little bit too much. So we're going to aim higher. And Bismarck, actually, no, I noticed that he has slowed down and he is uh, stopping at the island. So we go ahead and shoot. We're, no, we're likely to overpin his bow here. But uh, we're still going to be able to get a good chunk if we get a good hit. And there you go. There's over 17,000 damage right there. And that's what I'm talking about. Pay attention to who's giving you the best look in these sorts of situations and focus them down. Now, our team is actually not going to do a very good job of focusing in this, this fight. We're going to kind of spread the love between all of the battleships. Now, notice the Chappie starting to focus us as well. So we make a turn out. Not only does this help us angle against the battleships, but it also allows us to hopefully stay at the very long end of the uh, Chappie's range. So he struggles to hit us. And you can see the Bismarck goes down. Uh, so one of the three ships that is pushed in is now gone. Uh, that was actually a beautiful shot by me and the uh, other battleship that had a good good look at him too but uh, he goes down that leaves one bismarck and a massachusetts now massachusetts is already throwing it in reverse bismarck is going to beach out there so you can see i'm going to go ahead and shoot at this bismarck i'm going to wait for him to beach at least that's the plan he's about to eat a couple of airdrop torpedoes and i actually fire just a little bit too close to his ship he gets a nice little bounce off of the island plus if you noticed his bow was pointing towards the massachusetts Meaning he was able to accelerate relatively quickly. He gets that little bounce off the island, plus the, the little push with the... Uh, 
probably propulsion mod on his ship, and he's able to avoid the, that last shot. Now we have a Kansas pushing in. I'm not currently spotted, and this is the concealment mod coming in real handy. One of the other things that a lot of people just don't pay attention to with Kansas is with the concealment mod, your concealment's 12.8 kilometers, which means it's better than most of the tier 7 battleships. So you get to fire when you're ready. Now we get a very good hit on the Bismarck there, taking him down to literally nothing. Hit him for over 13,000 damage again. And you can see I'm already starting to potentially look at the uh the kansas now obviously i still want to try to finish these guys off so i'm going to take a couple of more shots at this bismarck i believe here uh he has healed some of the back whether it's will to rebuild which is likely due to the fact he's in the division he knows he's going to have the uh, you know the help to to build some of that health back and the fact that he probably has quite a few heals uh, if i had to guess he's probably running a silly axe build and he's got will to rebuild and five heals so keep that in mind now we have kansas pushing in so we're gonna go ahead and start working on his superstructure get him kind of uh uneasy you just don't want to leave him leave him out here doing what he pleases we knock out one of his guns and we manage to hit him pretty hard uh taking a good chunk off of now the massachusetts and the bismarck have gone into hiding which is preferable and that allows us to now focus this Kansas. Now, Kansas has put himself out on a limb here, and he doesn't have a whole lot of uh, option. Now, we do have the island as cover, so this is beautiful. Now, I'm aiming for his front turrets here. Uh, he is still kind of coasting forward, so these are actually going to land a little further back than I wanted. Remember, the Kansas has a lot of torpedo protection, kind of like California. So getting those full penetrations into the Citadel aiming at the uh, center of the ship is not actually what you want to do you want to aim towards the bow try to get around that protection if you can and uh we just didn't quite get it there i thought he was stopping he didn't stop he kind of just kept coasting forward and now he's going full speed ahead so i'm looking for other options currently and bismarck's running farther away uh massachusetts giving me a good look here we're gonna aim water line and see if we can hit him because he is kind of coming towards us so we don't want to overshoot him too much here and uh once again we get a ridiculous hit and we get a citadel as well so we get two hits and one of them is a citadel now they knock out one of our guns and i actually make kind of a misplay uh when you get a gun knocked out in a battleship you probably don't want to damage con it right away uh, especially if you're potentially getting shot by AG. Now, you'll notice this Otago kind of jumped out and scared me a little bit here. I was not paying attention to this Otago until he fired his guns at me. Had he not fired his guns and just launched torps or something, there's a good chance he hits me with torps, and I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, but because he does fire his guns at me, now I'm in a position where I can counter him, and I'm sorry, Otago, you're only 12 kilometers away from a Kansas, and uh, front guns say... Pow! <laughs> Down he goes, giving us two more Citadels and a Dev Strike on him. Shame we didn't get that on the first shot, but uh, we definitely got it on the second one. Kansas has pushed away from us. He's now in the middle of our teammates who managed to win that left side. We did lose some people on that left side, but they're still alive, so uh, that's good. But they, they are going to uh, have a crossfire on this Kansas, so... I'm going to try to help him out again. We get all the guns to bear. We take our shot at the Kansas. And we're looking for superstructure hits. And I think we get a pretty decent hit. Yeah, there you go. We get six penetrations. And we get uh, two ricochet shat or, or shatters or partial pins or whatever. So we ended up hitting uh, eight out of 12 shells there. So you love to see it. Now, I know that the Bismarck and the Massachusetts are heading out to the outside edge. And they have a Chappie here in the middle. So I'm going to try to move up. We already got 145,000 damage. Like, we're having a pretty solid showing so far. We've been instrumental in helping our team uh, push back the enemy's advance uh, on this side of the map. And had we not come over here, there's a good chance that all three of these ships would have just ran through this side, killed our carrier, and kept moving. Now, because the Bismarck and the Massachusetts are so far back, and I'm looking at that Chappie, I'm like, okay... Once I get around this corner, there's a good chance this Chappie is dead. Like, there's no no way that a Chappie usually survives at these kind of ranges against a broadside battleship. Like, especially something as accurate as a Kansas, 
with uh, 16 inch 45 caliber guns like these are nasty nasty guns now i recognize that he's starting to go forward so we're going to go ahead and place our shot a little bit ahead of him assuming he's going to speed up a little bit more so we place a little bit too far forward i think but look at that shell oh my god how is he alive <laughs> that was nasty i thought for sure he was dead right there but that takes us up to 174,000 damage and gives us our high cal and confederate medal so you love to see that Chappie is now critically damaged. He's, he's in trouble. He knows that he can't take another hit. And uh, unfortunately for him, it's a carrier game. So he's going to get spotted again. And I'm in a perfect position to uh, take a shot at him. Now, we know he's turning out. So we go ahead and take the shot with the front guns forward. And we're going to start turning out to get the rear guns. Just in case we leave him alive with the front guns. And uh, fortunately, we do not leave him alive. Now, here is the part where I make the biggest mistake. We're going to be going up against the Bismarck and the Massachusetts. I know they're in a division. I know they're both here. I know that I shouldn't push out on them. I should just wait for these guys to come around the corner, and I will attack them. Now, the carrier is still trying to attack me, which isn't the worst idea. Kansas does have okay AA, but it's not the best. Uh, but thankfully, he drops his torpedoes far enough away that we're able to uh, easily slip into the gap. But uh, we need to wait here. Now, Massachusetts has lost all of his health. Bismarck still has quite a bit of his health. So I need to work on the Bismarck first. Uh, now, I'm expecting a potential ram attempt from this Bismarck. Um, so in my thought process here, while I'm anticipating a ramming attempt, especially if I manage to knock most of this guy's health off really quickly, you can see he is angled towards me. He's pieing the corner really well. So we're going to aim high. We're going to go for that superstructure and uh, see if we can't get a good chunk. We get 10,000 damage off of And you can see the Massachusetts just took some torpedoes. So I'm thinking, okay, even if this guy rams me, it's not that big a deal. I go down, he gets a good chunk of damage. I managed to kill him and then the Massachusetts dies. But uh, here I really needed to start thinking about shooting the Massachusetts and ramming this Bismarck. Uh, we get a good hit here and I'm thinking, okay, right here, we're gonna kill him. Right here, we're going to kill him. He's turning out, but he stops. And shooting the water line there was a bad idea. We end up ricocheting three shells off of him, which would have killed him. That leaves him the ability to uh, ram us. And unfortunately, because we didn't shoot the mass, who has no health, we don't get both of these. Now, this is still a game that could go either way. But given the fact we do have a carrier in a position to attack the uh, Massachusetts, I felt pretty good about our odds of killing or winning this match. And sure enough... Carrier comes in with bombers and finishes off the Massachusetts. Our guys then move into the Bravo cap, and they're actually going to capture it. But look at the damage that we managed to pull out of this match. 210,000 damage done. It's not something you see every day, especially in uh, Tier 7 battleships. But it's always fun when you get those, those special games where it just seems like everybody does exactly what you need to. The accuracy is on point. Of course, with Kansas, accuracy is almost always on point. And it comes down to whether or not you do what you need to to win the match. But uh, our team does everything right here. They grab the base, they secure the win, and now the only thing left in this match is the carrier. And we are basically going to sit here and wait for this guy to either die or survive. And so I'm not going to make you guys wait for that. So uh, give me a second. I'll speed it up. We'll get to the uh, end of the battle. Alrighty. So like I said, just going to speed it up real quick. Uh, this game actually ends on points. We don't actually catch up to the uh, carrier and finish him off before, before the end of the match. But uh, yeah, that's why we're not going to, uh, we're not going to sit here and watch the whole thing in regular time. But as you can see, 1,000 points reached. We met, we win the match. We did everything in our power as the Kansas to uh, win that fight. And I do believe that had we not done the right thing and gone to the right there, that we would have lost. But uh, 3,337 base XP, top of the leaderboard, three kills, dev, dev strike, high cal, confederate, 210,000 damage done. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me that the Kansas is the best tier seven battleship? I do. I think it is. But uh, if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.